Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Tomorrow we will sadly commemorate the 25th year anniversary of the terrorist bombing against the Israeli embassy in Buenos Aires, Argentina, which occurred on March 17, 1992. The terror attack also destroyed a Catholic church and a nearby school. 29 people lost their lives in this horrific attack, including Israeli diplomats and their spouses, a Catholic priest, Argentinian citizens, many of whom were children, and nearly 250 others were wounded. Two years later, on July 18, 1994, over 80 people were murdered in a similar terrorist bombing at the building of the Jewish Community Organization, also known as EMEA, in Buenos Aires. These two attacks had many similarities, Mr. Speaker. Many innocent people lost their lives or were severely injured. Israelis and Jews were the main target for these horrific attacks. And unsurprisingly, Iran, the world's foremost state sponsor of terror and its terror proxy group, Hezbollah, were responsible for these attacks. Yet here we are, 25 years after the Israeli bombing and 23 years after the EMEA attack, and those responsible for those cowardly acts have yet to be brought to justice. It hasn't been for lack of evidence, Mr. Speaker. In fact, the Supreme Court of Argentina found that the Iranian-backed U.S., Israel, and Arab League-designated Lebanese-based terror group, Hezbollah, was responsible for the embassy bombing. A preponderance of evidence shows that Iran directed, financed, and assisted Hezbollah in the commission of the terror attack. Buenos Aires also called for a special prosecutor to investigate the EMEA bombing and appointed special investigator Alberto Nisman to the case. As a result, Argentina issued international arrest warrants for nine Iranian officials in connection with the EMEA bombing after Nisman determined that Iranian proxy Hezbollah was responsible for this heinous act. Mr. Nisman's commitment to the rule of law and the fight against corruption and terror was unwavering, and I had the honor and privilege to call Alberto a friend and speak with him frequently to discuss the case and Iran's role in these barbaric attacks. Sadly, Mr. Speaker, Alberto was found dead in his apartment in Argentina on January 19, 2015, under mysterious and suspicious circumstances. In December 2015, President Macri made a bold statement, a decision to create a special prosecutor to investigate Nisman's death, which hopefully will not only uncover the truth surrounding his death, but also could vindicate the work for which Alberto dedicated and maybe even gave his life. We can honor Alberto's legacy by continuing his work to hold those responsible for the terrorist bombings 25 years ago against the Israeli embassy in Buenos Aires and the EMEA bombing in 1994. That's why I am introducing a resolution today alongside Chairman Royce, Ranking Member Engel, Ted Deutsch, Jeff Duncan and Albio Cires, all of whom have helped lead the way in holding Iran accountable for its cowardly acts of terror. This resolution, Mr. Speaker, expresses support to the government of Argentina for its investigation into the terrorist bombing of the Israeli embassy on March 17, 1992, as well as the EMEA bombing on July 18, 1994. The resolution also commends President Macri for appointing a special investigator in December of last year to examine the 1994 EMEA terrorist attacks. We are calling on our own government to assist Argentina in any way possible to ensure that perpetrators are brought to justice. We also urge responsible nations to work together to fight and defeat international terrorism and its state sponsors like Iran. I urge all of my colleagues to support this important resolution, to take a moment today to remember those who suffered in Hezbollah's barbaric terrorist attack, and to continue to press those responsible to be brought to justice. And lastly, Mr. Speaker, I would like to acknowledge and personally thank the Argentine Ambassador 
to the U.S., Martin Lusteau, for being here in the gallery this morning. Israeli Ambassador to the U.S. Ron Dermer is represented by Reuven Azar, Deputy Head of Mission at the Israeli Embassy, who was actually born in Argentina. Thank you, sirs, for being here th this morning, and I urge this investigation to go forward with U.S. support as well. Thank you so much, and let us remember the victims of dastardly attacks today. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I